Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you're a Unity developer, today we have another Mega Bundle. And whenever I say that word, I always think I should say it like a monster truck. Mega Bundle, Mega Bundle, Bundle, Bundle. Anyways, it's the Lunar New Year's up to 95% off bundle. Gonna run for the next 20 days. I'm gonna run through what is in this bundle. I'm not gonna go hands-on, there's just too much to cover. But if there's a specific thing you'd like to see me do a follow-up video on, do let me know. So obviously this started right now. It is organized into tiers. You buy the higher dollar value tier, you get all the stuff from the lower tiers. The tiers start at 30 bucks, go to $40, and then up to $45. Quite frankly, nobody is going to buy the $40 tier because the $45 tier makes just that much more sense. And frankly, I doubt anyone's gonna really buy the $30 tier. So really, this is, you wanna spend 45 bucks and get about 20 assets, you decide. I'm still gonna cover it by tier, even if the tiers make no bloody sense. So at the $30 tier, you get the Sprite Shaders Unlimited, uh, oh sorry, Ultimate. Uh, this is a set of shaders that you you can uh, mix and match. So it's a variety of different shaders. Um, it's 50 stackable shaders. Uh, you can use them all together to create compound effects. Uh, they work with the uh, ERP HDRP and built-in pipelines. So at least there's some good uh, versatility there. Uh, next up, we have worms. Uh, worms are uh, basically a variety of Draco forms. So various different dragon models in here, uh, in this pack. And then finally, you get the sci-fi turret constructor. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's the first tier. Like I said, nobody's going to buy that. It's, you know, each individual item is probably worth about 30 bucks. So it does make sense. But you're going to just spend 10 bucks more and get this stuff. And then you're going to spend five bucks more and get this stuff. So let's go to the next pricing tier, which makes no sense at all either. And that is the collectible item VFX. Uh, that is a collectible uh, special effects for collectible items. So health pickups and so on. Uh, then we've got the sci-fi space base. Uh, basically a 3D environment. You can see all of the stuff that you are getting for that set right there. It includes 300 modular and customizable prefabs. Uh, compatible with the built-in ERP and a HDRP, which is, of course, nice. And then, honestly, probably the thing I find most interesting in this entire Mega Bundle is this one, which is an exporter from Unreal to Unity 2023. And now, I made a point. I haven't bought this bundle yet, so what you're going to see is anything that I've already gotten from a previous Mega Bundle or Humble Bundle, it will show that I've already purchased it. So the majority of what we're seeing here is actually new content. Now, this is a tool that enables you to... Uh, it's an Unreal Engine plugin that you can export out from Unreal over to Unity. Again, probably the thing I find the most interesting in this particular bundle. I'm curious if you would see, like to see this one in action. Again, let me know in the comments down below. And that is the median tier bundle. Again, I don't think any of you are going to uh, spend the money here and not just spend 15 bucks more and get, you know, all of the stuff. So speaking of all of the stuff, let's look at what is left in this bundle. So you get the Warrior Pack Mega Bundle. This is a collection of animations. So it's 12 packs together. Uh, Mage, Warrior, Two-Handed Warrior, Brute Warrior, Crossbow Warrior, and so on. A ninja, and, and etc. It's Mechanum Animation Pack. So if you need a bunch of animations, uh, you got you covered in this particular pack. Uh, then we've got the uh, Easy AR. So you can make awesome AR apps without any coding. Uh, so if Augmented reality is your jam. This is a way of basically making it easier. Probably more for like the storefront type approach to things than games, but uh, you know, it's an option there. Uh, you get the uh, sci fi sound pack. This is has. 750 high quality uh, sound effects for sci-fi projects. One thing I am noticing in this particular bundle is there's a lot of sci-fi focus stuff. Uh, we've got Ivy Studio, uh, procedural vine generation. Uh, so if you need to create vines in your world, uh, this will work with that. So. Uh, Procedural Ivy and Climbing Plant Generator focuses on the creation of realistic environments, adaptive vegetation. Uh, works with all three major pipelines, so that is definitely nice. And then we've got Grab It. Now, again, I want you to notice this little box up here because that will indicate that I already own it. And anything I own came from either a Mega Bundle in the past or a Humble Bundle. So this is the first repeat we have. Uh, Grab It is like... Uh, uh, a physics powered placement tool. So the WYSIWYG widgets for placing things in the scenes, this is for doing that. So let's say you wanted to drop some crates in your world, you can bring them in with this and then just kind of let them go and then gravity is gonna do the rest there. So it's kind of like a more fluid or natural way of placing. So this is for you as the game designer. This isn't a runtime thing. This is an editor thing and it kind of just makes the editing experience a little bit more holistic or natural to you. 
Uh, next up, we have Flexilon 3D Layouts. This is another thing for placing things in the world, but this is for placing things in a pattern. So for example, if you want to place a number of things in an arc along a, um, a spline, you can do so that way. So that's kind of the idea all about it. Gives level designers, animators, uh, interface designers power to make adaptive 3D layouts that are precise and easy to update. Uh, built for all three pipelines. So basically, it's a way of placing things in a patterned manner within the editor. Uh, next up, we have Smooth Sync. Uh, this is for UNet, ML, API, Pun, and Pun2, and Mirror. Uh, simple drop-in uh, setup for net code for game objects. Mirror, Pun, Pun2, uh, no coding required. Uh, smooth rigid body transforms over the network with ease. Um, so it's for doing a network synchronization. Uh, we've got power slide cart physics, pretty self-explanatory there. If you want to create uh, a, you know, go-karting style game, this is the physics for it. Uh, things like drifting, automatic and manual. Um, so if you want to create a cart style game, this is the physics engine for that. Uh, next up, we have pro tips. Again, note, this is from a previous Thing of some kind, at least for me. Uh, this is a tooltip system. Uh, so if you're creating a UI, you need to have uh, hover over tooltips. Pro Tips is all about that one. Uh, we got Sensor Toolkit 2. Now it's interesting that this one isn't showing up as an already purchased because Sensor Toolkit was definitely in the past. So maybe this is uh, version two of something. Very useful uh, in terms of the world. So like you got here, this guy hiding behind cover and this tank is looking for him. Uh, you would use the sensors for detecting things there. Compatible with all three pipelines. It's a powerful abstraction over the built-in unique functions like raycast, overlaps, and trigger colliders. Uh, standalone sensor components to your game and configure them as needed. The sensors can be queried to determine what they detect and provide additional information such as visibility or the shape of the target. Uh, basically, uh, visibility into your game world is something that pretty much every single game is going to need something of, and this kind of just provides more functionality than the basic built-in raycasts. Uh, and then we've got the skill and attack indicators. So here you can see like the if you ever played like World of Tanks, for example, and you've got like an artillery where it's going to hit on the ground, all the various different directions a skill can hit, and so on, that is what this guy is all about. It allows you to easily visualize attacks and skills to your players. Choose one of the indicators, configure the texture and settings, and you are ready to go. Again, works with all three pipelines, which is always nice. And then Pixelate. Now, Pixelate was from something very recent. I do remember covering this one. Uh, it's basically a way of uh, pixelating 3D objects to make them look like pixel art. Uh, so this one, innovative way to convert 3D animations into pixel art sprite sheets. Uh, animate your characters more efficiently, save time, instant conversion from 3D to pixel art. Uh, so basically it's a way of pixelizing uh, what you are working on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Mega Bundle. So again, you got 20 days to pick this one up. If you do my, use my link, I do get a commission. So thank you very much for doing so. I do ask once again, before I finish this video off, first off, what do you think of this Mega Bundle? I think some of the ones they've had in the past were definitely better than this. I can see some things of interest in here. Um, a bit of a sci-fi bent this this time, I would say, uh, but a decent combination of tools. So again, sensor toolkit, grab it, uh, the layout, Flexilon layout, um, those are definitely pretty like universally useful kind of things. Uh, of the stuff I find most interesting, I think again, it's this Unreal Engine exporter, uh, which again, is worth the price of admission alone. Uh, but let me know if there's anything you want me to follow up with in a follow on video. Uh, from this bundle, I, I will do my best. Um, again, most of this is pretty straightforward. Uh, the things that are grayed out, like this guy, this guy right there, uh, means I already own them. So there's not a lot of duplication in this bundle. I think there's yeah, grab it, pixelate, and pro tips were the things that were in previous bundles. So not too bad. Uh, probably a lot of new stuff for you if you are a digital hoarder like myself. But again, if there's something you want to see a follow-up of, let me know. I will do my best to cover it in a follow-up video, and hopefully you found that useful. I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.